Uh, I'm in red form In a red state, such a red case on a red song In a shared space with my shareholders cause we share a bond Spiritual healthcare, that's real self-care, you won't care for I got my Mets hat on to the back Y'all already know where we going with the stats Any artist that's talking garbage and try to curse us Y'all follow a wave and do whatever's current I follow his ways, I know my turn is coming Welcome to New York Giants Full Access What's going on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all platforms Welcome to another episode of New York Giants Full Access With your boy Big Pat Sports Talk And got some more DJ hate coming out Mr. James Jones and the other guy on the show, the, the Carton Show Says that Daniel Jones is out of his mind asking for $45 million. And I'm just going to let you guys uh, hear what they have to say. And you know what I do on these reaction videos. I chime in. So let's get into it, man. Daniel Jones, uh, Giants quarterback, change agencies. He left CAA, a uh, megalith agency, mm -hmm. for Athletes Direct. Uh, and they are uh, claim to fame is that. Uh, they've had uh, five different occasions negotiated in the moment the highest contract ever given out to NFL players. They got like 100 Pro Bowlers, uh, 5,000 first-round draft picks, and they're badasses. And then, of course, the first story comes out once they are signed because they're good at PR, and that is that Daniel Jones. <laughs> it's so hard to say <laughs> without laughing. I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, Daniel <laughs> Daniel Jones, who threw 15 touchdown passes last year in a quarterback-friendly league, wants 45 million bucks a year. Hmm. All right, once you get over the laughter and the acknowledgement that he ain't going to get it, now we can talk real. And here's so everybody wants to laugh at Daniel Jones because he only threw 15 touchdowns last year with one of the bottom half offensive lines and one of the bottom half receiving cores and in his first year in a brand new system and they always seem to forget that he ran for seven more touchdowns with 700 more yards so with the bottom offensive line of the lead with one of the bottom and one of the bottom receiving cores he put up over 4,000 yards and 22 touchdowns with those with that team and so everybody uh just wants to focus on the 15 pass touchdowns that's the narrative now but okay go ahead the reality of Daniel Jones. There's no market for Daniel Jones. They're also not going to franchise. Really? There's no market for Daniel Jones? Really? What, what sources are you getting out of that? There's no market for Daniel Jones whatsoever? Okay. Franchise him, uh, either type of franchise, because if you do that to a player, you can't spread the salary over the course of a number of years, meaning, bang. It sits right on your cap this year. Yeah. So he ain't going to get franchised, and he ain't going to get $45 million a year. There's no market. There's not another team in the NFL that you could say, oh, if Daniel Jones was available, we're rushing to New Jersey to knock on his door to sign him. Not one. Because the teams that are... Really? You don't think Washington would sign him? You don't think the Jets would sign him? You don't think the Panthers would sign him? You don't think the Falcons would sign him? You don't think the Buccaneers would sign him? You don't think the Colts would look at him and try to sign him? Hell, the Titans. You don't think the Titans would try to sign him? Where are you getting this information, sir? See, this is the stuff that they speak on Daniel Jones' name, the reason why he should ask for $45 million. Because if you actually look at the team and watch what that kid has been through, he should ask for the most money that he can get. Will he get 45? I don't believe so, but I damn sure think he's going to get 40, which he should. If Dak Prescott is getting $40 million, why can't Daniel Jones? Seem to forget that this dude won a playoff game this year as well. With a team nobody even thought would get more than five to six wins. Because you know why? Because the talent on the roster was so low. But people seem to forget that. And these dudes like this just speak. Sound a lot like a lot of people that I know on Twitter. 
that are desperate for good quarterbacks are drafting in the top 10, and they're probably going to draft the quarterback. Mm -hmm. So Danny Jones is in a pickle. And that pickle is he wants 45 million bucks a year. He's worth 10. And that's wow. the problem. So Daniel Jones is worth $10 million a year. That is absolute trash right there. And that's the reason why he should go in there and ask for as much money as he can. Because of the trash stuff that he has to deal with and the trash media that he has to deal with. The trash fans that come out and say these same exact things about him is, is bull crap. The man had almost 4,000 yards and 22 touchdowns with a 92.5 passer rating with this squad. With this squad. The hell out of here, man. He's worth $10 million. Are you serious? So he's worth less than than uh, 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 Jacoby Brissett. He's worth worth less than the Jameis Winston. He's worth less than fucking uh, Tyrod Taylor. Are you serious? Trash, man. You know, <laughs> I, I'm I'm trying to wrap my head around all this right here because I mean, all this screams to me is cuckoo for Coco Puff. Yes. Um, yeah. and the main reason is I am all for players getting the money of course Always. getting as much money as you possibly can get but at one point I don't care if you change agents 32 times at one point you have to wake up and you have to look in the mirror you have to say what I did on the football field stats wise because that's what we're going off of what I did on the football field stats wise like you said I am worth about 10 million dollars now and that is asinine because if you actually look at the games, you'll notice what that man meant to this team. And this team would have been nowhere near what they would have done this year without Daniel Jones. And that's a proven fact. The man ran for 53 first downs. You want to know why he had to run for so many first downs? Because his offensive line was not playing well. It was playing bottom half of the league. What bottom half of the league of weapons. His best weapon came to him at week nine off somebody else's practice squad. And the man still put up almost 44,000 yards with 22 touchdowns with this squad. You mean to tell me what he did last year is only worth $10 million? Are you guys stupid? You mean to tell me what he did was worth less than what Andy Dalton got over there with the Saints? And what he was doing? Man, y'all tripping, man. But that's the end of this episode. That's about all I can take out of this, man. These people just be talking to just to bash the dude, man. That is that is hideous. That is heinous. That is terrible, awful, whatever you want to call it. That's what it is. But thank you guys for watching this episode of New York Giants Full Access with your boy Big Passports Talk. These men slander Daniel Jones so much, and I'm proud that he asked for $45 million, if he even asked for $45 million. Because if it was, that means him and CAA would have had a, 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 a breakup, and it wouldn't have been mutual. And the Giants would have had to wait five days to talk to him. But it was a mutual agreement to break up. I think it's more for endorsement type deals, because that's what athletes first brings. But to sit here and say this man is only worth $10 million, you guys are on rocks. But man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys watching. Until the next episode, man, you know what it is, man. Peace. This is a Big Blue Crew production.